last day of the trip. Got a couple hours here at Kennywood today. I don't think Steel Crane's gonna be open, unfortunately, but the park's probably gonna be packed as well, but hey, this is the bonus, so let's go get a few rides. Gonna go make Phantom's Revenge my first ride of the day. And I saw that they were running one train again from outside the park. But it was the purple train. When I was here last week, they had the green train running. So it'll be cool to ride purple train on this, see how it holds up. And I never got to ride it in the back of the train because uh, I was gonna do a back of my last ride, but since it had rained, I figured I might as well get a front row rain ride. So I do wanna try and do Phantom at least once or twice actually. So I can do once in the back and do another ride in the front. So let's go see if we can uh, get on Phantom's Revenge. And maybe also try Jackrabbit in the front again because I want to do twice in the back and twice in the front because I've done two rides in the back so far and one ride up front. So I'll work my way back over there after riding Phantom's Revenge. So let's do this awesome Morgan coast. See how it compares to Steel Force, which I rode uh, yesterday as when I'm recording this at Dorney Park. <laughs> to allow the attendants to check your bar. Thank you. tried back row on Phantom's Revenge, and while it was good to get the experience, I wasn't impressed. The front is so much better than the back, in pretty much every way in my opinion. My bro said there was an insane head chopper with Thunderbolt in the back, I didn't really get that. And I mean, really the only thing that I liked better than the back was the first drop, but other than that, the speed is so much better than the front, I even like the airtime a little better up there. So, yeah, Phantom's Revenge, in my opinion, is a front row ride in every single way possible, so. Yeah, I'm gonna maybe try it again, but the problem is the lines is literally all the switchbacks, and uh, even to get on the back row, it took me about an hour, so I don't even know how long the front line would have been, but yeah, Phantom's Revenge, 100% front row ride, right, in my opinion. The back doesn't even come anywhere close.
Jackrabbit was quite long, and I had only done Skyrocket once, so I figured instead of doing Jackrabbit, I might as well go second ride on Skyrocket. It was a good thing I did that, because my first ride wasn't anything too spectacular, and I enjoyed my second ride quite a bit more. And uh, that was my last ride of the trip, so the final ride coming today was obviously one on Phantom's Revenge and one on Skyrocket. It was nice to get back to Cambridge for a few hours, even though it was way more packed today than it was uh, last time I was here, due to the weather and whatnot. But yeah, it was so cool to get on Phantom's Revenge again in Tribeca, even though the experience I got wasn't anything too special, but it was awesome. So, highlights of this trip. Uh, let's start from uh, the start of the trip up until the end of the trip. Uh, first AK Wood, it was an awesome game. My first ever rides on Phantom's Revenge. Uh, meeting Arcade Matt for the first time, which I'll post a link to that video that he shot here with Kenny Wood in the description of this video so you guys can check it out. I'll also post a link to his channel as well. So yeah, if you guys didn't see the link to that Carnival Game video that he was filming here, in the description of my last Kenny Wood vlog, I'll put it in the description of this one too so you guys can go check it out. So that was cool, meeting Arcade Matt. Uh, next up was Hershey Park, getting on Wildcats Revenge, Sky Rush, and Storm Runner for my first time. Also getting a cool experience with Candemonium. Next day was Kenobo, they got to ride Phoenix and Twister for the first time. Both of them were excellent wooden coasters. And also getting on the rare flying turns, so that was cool. And then uh, 4th of July at Hershey came with uh, multiple different Zen rides, including a uh, Zen ride on Sky Rush, as well as five back-to-back -back on Storm Runner, so that was pretty cool. Next up was my most anticipated park of the trip, which was Six Flags Great Adventure. And it was awesome to get on King Ka and El Toro for my first time, ride my second arm Raptor with Jersey Devil Coaster, and get uh, US Justice League completion. So that was really, really cool. Dory Park was uh, the after I'm recording this. It was uh, nice to get on Steel Force and uh, Talon and Hydra. Even though none of those two VNMs were anything impressive, I did enjoy getting on on both of them and also getting a zen ride on possessed so that's uh, pretty cool and that was pretty much the last major highlight of the trip because that brings us back uh full circle i guess here to kennywood so i guess that ends up the trip and uh, before i click off this video please be sure to leave a like if you haven't done so already and be sure to comment what you enjoyed about this video be sure to share it with someone else you may know if you're new to this channel and like what you saw please consider subscribing for more content like this my goal is to hit 500 subscribers by the end of summer, so I'd appreciate you subscribing and show the bell on so you get notified every time I upload a new video. I also have an Instagram account for the pictures I take whenever I visit a park, so be sure to check me out there as well. There'll be a link in the description. As for my next vlog, I will be going back to Six Flags St. Louis on Tuesday with my friend Ryan, so be sure to check that vlog out whenever it comes out. And until then, I'll see you guys later.